Hey guys, so iOS 17 has been out for a week now, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have updated to iOS 17, but it wasn't until everyone else around me actually updated the software to iOS 17 on their iPhones that I realized there's more settings and options you must change after you update, because there's a few features that can actually get very annoying, and some I can show you that will improve the user experience. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So the first feature I wanna talk about is called Share Listening for Car CarPlay. Now, if you connect your iPhone to a car using Bluetooth and you start listening to music, whether you're using CarPlay or not, the other person may get this on their screen right here. Share play with whoever person is connected to the actual car using Bluetooth or CarPlay. At this point, they can click this notification and a request to add any music to the queue. So basically, Apple allows you to control the music from anywhere in the car, as you can see right here, even from the back seat. However, if you have this feature, Feature on anyone and everyone can actually request and it can get very very annoying so if you want to turn off this feature on your iPhone so when you get into your car you connect via Bluetooth or CarPlay you don't want anybody else to send you any share play requests you want to go into settings here you want to head on over into the Apple music extension right there it is and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and right here you find discoverable by nearby contacts if you don't want that option just go ahead and turn that off and from now on you won't be discoverable by nearby contacts which means obviously inside of the car so no one will be able to send you any requests and you won't be able to send any requests for apple music share play in the car so this is a feature that apple has added to ios 17 and carplay with apple music but it did get really annoying the first week after using ios 17 with everybody else using ios 17 around me now this next one has to do with privacy and security so if you go into your settings application you go into face id and passcode you enter the passcode and then you request to change the passcode on your iPhone. So let's go ahead and change the passcode of this iPhone. It's gonna ask us for the old passcode and then it's gonna ask us to enter a new passcode. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's go ahead and use it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, once we're done setting up the new passcode, it's going to go ahead and show us a new option available here in iOS 17 that will let you know that the previous passcode can be used to change it once again in case you forget the new one. However, this option right here is kind of redundant in my opinion because if you change your passcode, oftentimes it means it was compromised in some way and you wanted to change it. So if the old passcode is still usable, and you can change the current passcode with it, then it makes no sense to me. So if you ever change your passcode after using iOS 17, you can go ahead and right there, expire the old passcode. That way, if it was compromised, no one can actually change the current one with the old one. Apple lets you use it for about 72 hours in case you forget the new one, but I don't think it's a great idea at all. Now, before we continue today, I wanted to take a minute to talk about our official case sponsors, Pitaka, and their brand new iPhone 15 series of cases, the Mag Easy Case 4 and the Mag Easy Case 4 Pro. Now, these cases, of course, will be linked in the description down below. These are made of an aramid fiber which is a material commonly used in the aerospace industry so it is strong durable and of course these cases don't only look good but also feel good when you hold them in your hand and of course protect your iPhone on the back on the sides the camera module they also offers these really nice accessories as you can see right here the mag easy grip which allows you to carry your iPhone or prop it up to watch videos which is super cool and they also offer this really cool accessory which is the mag easy sleeve for your credit cards your credit card sleeve where you can take your credit cards anywhere you go and I love the system where I can just detach this and replace it with any accessory that I want so for any application I want to switch it over I can do that it is really really cool now if you want to check out all these cases and all these accessories from Pitaka of course links will be available in the description down below I just wanted to say thank you to Pitaka for sponsoring today's video now this next feature could help you make your network speeds a lot faster your call quality a lot better so if you go into settings here and you go and into the cell data options right here. So cell data options, and then we go into voice and data. Most users now have the new option, 5G standalone. Now 5G standalone is best if 5G is the predominant network in your region. So if you always see 5G in the status bar and you toggle this on, this will make your downloads a lot faster. This will make
make everything a lot faster. Your data, your call quality and performance will improve and it will be a lot quicker for basically everything you do within your network. Again, only if 5G is the predominant network in your region. Basically, cities for the most part do have 5G as the main network for devices, especially iPhones. But if you do not have 5G in your region, of course, you want to make sure you turn that 5G standalone option off. For yeah, for the new iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, this will definitely take advantage of the new capabilities of the 5G modem on your device. Now, for those of you with the brand new iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, you may notice that the air mirror option right here has been switched for the mute switch as you can see right there obviously we now have the action button which can be programmed to up to nine different actions so i guess apple thought you know having the mute toggle directly within control center visible there next to the rotation lock would be ideal and yes it is ideal but where is the screen mirroring option if you're looking for this and you're looking to mirror your iphone to a tv or something like that you want to go into settings you want to head on over into control center and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and there it is screen mirror is now an additional option for control center unlike other iPhones that have it as a default next to the rotation lock on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max it is an additional option right there it is and you can add it using the control center extension now last but not least I want to talk about silent mode in iOS 17 for the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max you see the bell there with the notification letting you know that no sound is coming through this iPhone so if I get a phone call or any notification no sound will be displayed well that option lies under sound and heptics this is a new option here for iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max and the toggle is red in comparison to all the other ones which are green so the red toggle there telling you silent mode is enabled so this means no notification sounds no system sounds and things like that however it will continue to play of course videos music uh, timers and things like that if you enable this feature but you won't get any notifications basically on your device or when you get an incoming call the phone will not ring but you can turn this off if you turn it off of course your phone will ring you see that the bell there lets you know that it's now turned off but if you turn it on of course keep in mind you won't get any sounds and notification sounds on your device that's for iphone 15 pro and 15 pro max now these are some of the new settings after using ios 17 for about a week that i think were either annoying or will help you improve the user experience and i thought i'd share those with you guys so thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace